I didn't go into this to prove anything to anybody other than, than myself. You know, there was a lot of raised eyebrows. Mm or those that could raise their eyebrows. <laughs> when, you know, when, when they'd heard I was gonna do this, you know, a pop star who's married to a footballer, really gonna do a clothing line. When someone kicks me, you know, I try hard to get up again. She's an English entrepreneur, fashion designer, model, and singer. She rose to fame with the all-female pop group Spice Girls. In the past decade, she's become an internationally recognized fashion icon and designer. She's Victoria Beckham, and here's my take on her top 10 rules for success. Rule number one is my personal favorite, and I'd love to know which one you guys like the best. Also, as she's talking, if she says something that really impacts you, please leave it in the comments below and put quotes around it so that other people can be inspired as well. Enjoy. It is what I always wanted to do. You know, fashion really is my passion. It's what I, what I love to do. It's what I have to do. Um, I love what I do. I don't consider what I do as my job. I always say, well, it's, it's almost like, you know, it almost feels like a hobby that has done really, really well. Because I love it, <laughs> you know, and a lot of people don't associate work with enjoying themselves and, and they don't associate work with being their passion, whereas I really do. But fashion was always my, my passion. And I'm, I'm living a dream, I really am. And I wake up every morning and I pinch myself. I'm very, very lucky, I feel very blessed. So I would say right now, is definitely where I feel comfortable. I believe that I'm competing in an arena um, where actually I, I, I feel like I'm good. I feel like I'm good at this. I've got a long way to go. There's lots of things that I want to do. I was never going to be the best singer or the best dancer, and that was okay. I had four other people with me. You did quite well at it, though. I didn't do bad, but you know, I was, I kind of hid behind the others a little bit, but you know, I really feel that I have something to give. I feel that I have a point of view um, and I have, I have a lot to say and, and it's great when you find something that you're, that, that you think that you're okay at. I say the best advice that, that, that I could give anybody is to work for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Work for another brand. And when I was working with Rock and Republic, when I was working with Linda Farrow, which is a, a sunglasses brand that I was working for, I was like a sponge. And you can take that opportunity to learn so much about the industry. And I did that. Mm -hmm. They were license deals that I had. Yeah. Um, back in the day, and I worked with Coty, the fragrance company, um, the fragrance house as well, and I learned so much. And then when I was in a position to bring everything in-house and own everything myself and create a team that would do this with me, I felt ready to do it. So though I didn't really, I didn't go to fashion school, yeah. I was working for other people and I learnt an enormous amount of time, uh, an enormous amount in a very short space of time. I always want to better myself. I don't consider myself, I don't, sorry, I don't consider other designers competition. You know, for me, my competition is me from the season before. I'm very ambitious. I always want to better myself. I never sit back and say, wow, look at what I've achieved. And to be honest, I kind of wish that I could do that because I should do that. But I always just want to better myself and what's next and how can I improve, how can I make myself better. I'm a perfectionist, but in the nicest sense of the word. I was going to say that, you know, I think there are a lot of celebrities that have a lot of clothing lines or perfumes and I think that's where what I'm doing is very different. I'm not just putting my name on different products, you know, I'm very involved. I go to the factories, I see the denim, you know, I, I work with the people that, are, that, that I'm working with and I think that's what makes what I'm doing very, very different. I'm creative director. I've been working on everything, for, you know, that I'm working on now for the last seven years this has been a long long process and that's how long it's taken to get it right I'm not just saying I'm Victoria Beckham I'm gonna put my name on a bottle of perfume I'm actually creating that I'm designing the bottle you know I'm designing the label and that's what I love that's my fourth child <laughs> when I initially started up um, the brand 
I didn't put too much pressure on myself. I didn't go into this to prove anything to anybody other than than myself. I was very focused. I didn't try and do um, everything at once. You know, for, for quite a few seasons, I stuck to just perfecting the dress. I didn't want to run before I could walk. It's very important to be focused and do um, do what I was doing very, very well and move on and do more when my team um, was in the position to do that. So I think that it's about keeping things focused um, and not trying to do too much. Do you care what people say, what people think no, of you? No, I mean, I gave up a long, long time worrying and concerning myself over that. You know, I, I care what people say about what I do professionally. I care about what my customer says. You know, that's, that's what I do care about because why do I do what I do? I do what I do because I love women. I want to empower women. I want women to feel good. I want them to feel beautiful. And so I care about what, what my customer thinks because I want to give her what she wants. But generally speaking, I don't, I don't focus too much on anything negative. When I first started, so 10 seasons ago, um, I had a room at, the, uh, at a hotel in, in New York and I did sometimes one-on-one -on -one presentations, sometimes it was a group of people, sometimes it was one-on-one -on -one. Um, and I did that for four days to fashion press, buyers, um, and, and I literally would talk through the collection. I had 10 dresses and I'd sit there and I'd talk about the dress and the dress would come in on a model and I'd unzip the dress and talk about the corsetry and the inspiration and the fabrics. Sometimes I'd be talking for hours on end to people that didn't actually even speak English. Um, they, they were foreign retailers, but I just liked to talk. So I'd be talking away and really wanted people to understand the concept really and understand what I was doing. Um, and I, I remember it was three o'clock in the morning the night before the show and I was standing in the, there was a florist actually in the hotel and I was standing there in my slippers trying to decide on the flowers. You know, I didn't have a stylist or great hair and makeup. Things have come such a long way since those days. Um, but I think right at the beginning, I, I didn't know what people were going to think. You know, there was a lot of raised eyebrows. Mm or those that could raise their eyebrows, <laughs> when, you know, when, when they'd heard I was going to do this, you know, a pop star who's married to a footballer, really going to do a clothing line. You, you know, a lot of people had preconceptions, and um, I didn't go out to prove anybody wrong. I just wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. And what comes to is your determination at all yeah. costs to actually succeed. I mean, mm -hmm. is that a sort of a message that you hope comes across to, to kids? Because a lot of kids think that people just become famous overnight, don't they? Yeah, I think that people don't realise that it's all about hard work. I mean, I worked hard when, when I was at school. I've always had it in my personality to want to succeed, you know, even when it was, you know, I want to do my homework right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm one of these people, you know, when someone kicks me, you know, I try hard to get up again because I know what I want to do. I love what I do at the end of the day. I know that I'm putting myself up for criticism. I'm very much aware of that, but I love what I do. I think everybody has um, crazy moments of, of, uh, of self-doubt and I think that an element of that is, is probably quite important. And it's about creative visualisation and challenging yourself but always staying very positive. But there's nothing wrong with, with having a second little person, you know, um, sitting on your shoulder, you know, making sure that you are remaining humble um, and that you're, being, you're, you're, you're remaining appreciative of everything that you have and everything that you've achieved. Um, but you should definitely not waste too much time being negative in any way. It's about positive thinking, positive energy and, um, and fighting if you need to fight. Um, I mean, my team is so great. We're, we're a small team, but we're growing, and they're all incredibly talented, passionate, focused. I also think it's important to enjoy the people that you're working with as well. We, we have a lot of fun every day, but they're passionate. They love what they do. They believe in my brand and what I'm creating. And I have the same team that I had when I first started over six years ago. And I really encourage my team to grow with me as I grow as a brand as well. Yes, I bring in a few new people, but it's about giving 
um, people that work with me the opportunity to grow within the company as well. I have a few people that started out with me as interns that now have, you know, high up jobs um, in marketing, press, and, and sales as well. So it's a really nice family atmosphere at work. Thank you guys so much for watching. I made this video because Chris Dunlop asked me to. So if there's a famous entrepreneur that you are made a profile next, leave it down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I'd also love to know what did you learn from Victoria in this video? What's the thing that you're gonna apply immediately to your life or your business after watching this clip? Super curious to find out. Leave in the comments. I'm gonna join in the discussion. I also wanna give a quick shout out to Sandra from Kitch Cakes. Sandra, thank you so much for picking up a copy of my book, Your One Word, and making those awesome tribute cookies. They looked amazing and they tasted even better and I really, really, really appreciate your support. Ta-da! This is what we've made for you in tribute to your hashtag believe. Here we go. So thank you guys again for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon.